up happy people, I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner and today we're gonna try to do the impossible. We're gonna try to catch a Goliath grouper on a spinning rod. But first we gotta catch bait, then we gotta catch bait, then we gotta catch bait. There we go, a little bit better. What's up you guys? Thank you so much, man. Today is a unique day. We're here in Jupiter, Florida, and there's this ongoing debate. Can you catch a Goliath grouper on a spinning rod? That's a spinning rod, and that's the start. We had to catch little baits, little chummies. Then we're gonna go try to catch bonitas, or any kind of big bait. And then we're gonna go try to catch us a massive Goliath grouper on a spinning rod right off the coast of Jupiter, Florida. Hey, you want me to catch a big, big fish? Yeah? High five. No, a big high five. Like as big as the fish you want to catch. <laughs> oh, man. There you go, perfect. Give me that. So, just got out to the spot. We're in about 140 feet of water. And I'm going to take some of these little baits. These are little pilchards. I refer to them as a chummy because I just pitch them out. I kind of squeeze them a little bit before I throw them out. And almost everything will eat these. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now they're good. See how they're blowing up back here? Normally I would not use such a big hook, but just take that bait, throw it out there. Make sure your drag set light because I've only got like 10 pound floor or I've only got 10 pound braid here. There we go. Got him. Dad, you have a fun too. What do we got? What do we have behind door number one here? What is that? Looks like a blue runner. Oh yeah. That now some people eat these. Some people eat these. It's called a blue runner. But everyone knows that watches deer meat for dinner, one always has to go back. Why did you put it back? Oh, we've got a nice bait here. And that's the great thing about Florida, man. It's just your fishing opportunities are everywhere. Come out here, we ate breakfast at the Nook, a little nice little shop there in, in Jupiter. Pitch that out. I'm going to throw some bait out for you. Okay, throw one out, baby. And those of you who don't know, my, oh, got another one. How do you? My four-year-old, Aria, absolutely loves to fish, this is gonna be a bonita. This is what we're after. Little bonita, this is absolutely, oh, it's a blue runner. That's a big old blue runner, are you kidding me? He's a fighter. So we're gonna keep this one. That's gonna be one of our bait fish. Now we're gonna to switch to a vertical jig. That's a Shimano butterfly jig. Let that joker run all the way down to the bottom. We're sitting in uh, 139 feet of water. And whenever I'm doing this, you want to pay attention because a lot of times they eat it on the drop. This bait's just sort of fluttering like a bait swimming for the bottom. Oh, there he is. Got him. Nice fish on the jig. Oh, come on. What do I got here? Hey, what do y'all think about the fishing action around here? This is so abundant. This is incredible. Pretty amazing, huh? I've never seen so much wildlife. Ooh, he's fast. I'm trying to get his head out of the water. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
that's what we're after. For my friends around here, that's the good old emerald swirly back. I'm just trying to load up on bait. Okay, Aria is literally begging me to fish right now. And that is a dream, oh, sorry. That's a dream come true. Throw that out there. Hold this, hold it. You know how I said, hold your hand behind there? You got it, real, get him. Can you help me? No, real. You got a fish, baby. Can you help? Come on. <laughs> Come on. You know how to do this. There you go. See how we do that? You lift up on it. Reel down. Lift up. Reel down. And then you reel down on him. Reel down. And see how are you? We're not lifting up real hard. We just. Gently pull him up and then reel down to him. A little bit there. A little bit. There you go. What do you think? You having fun? Uh, bring him over the side of the engine. Yeah. I see him. Oh, he's coming. He got him so close. Look at him. Look at him coming right here. Oh, boy. Let's get him. There you go. Oh, in the boat. Good job. Good job. Hold on, are you? Hold him for me, baby. Here you go. Get one hand under here. Get this hand under. Hold him now. There you go. What you think? Do you want me to use him for bait, or do you want to let him go? You want to let him go? Go let him go then. Oh, good job. All right, give me a kiss. I love you. Come on, boy. It's so much fun just coming out here smashing these bonitas. Oh, that's the bait we're looking for. Right there. There you go. Perfect little... Oh, look at the shark right here. Look at the shark right here. Right on the surface. Look, 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 look. Watch, he's going to come up and smash this bait right here. <laughs> Here he comes. Look how fast oh, he's coming. Oh my god. Oh, oh jumped on it. Hey, hey, shark Ooh. on, boys. <laughs> now, this is a two speed reel. You can go two speed on him and just put the brakes on him. Uh huh. Move this over here. I'm gonna try to put the brakes on him. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Big old sandbar shark. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me go to where you are. Yep. Ryan, move to I your. You can touch him. Hold up. He didn't like to be touched. Nope. There he is. Now, you said you wanted to touch a shark. Hold on, let me just get him driving straight. I'm gonna start driving him along and I'm gonna give him some fresh, oh, he just broke off right there. That was his way of saying, I don't wanna get touched and I'm going home. But 10 minute fight. Oh, look at the other sharks coming into him right there. Wow. We've been out here, what, an hour? Have we seen any fish? Oh my gosh, have we seen any fish? Good, good, good. Now, 
Let's see if we can get a Goliath grouper to eat that on the spinning rod. I put a couple hundred pound wind on leader on it. I'm not really marking any Goliaths, but you never know. Okay, we're on the bottom there. Literally just gotta crank the drag and hope for the best. Oh, that's him. That's a fish. Boys. Ah, he got me in the rack. Holy smokes. <laughs> I was so close to having him. Good thing I got an extra bait. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. What a fish. Aria is officially passed out and I've got another rig going on here. Got quite a bit of current. You can see what happens. I'm gonna just float this one down there and see if we can't get him to eat it. He, he, they, once they eat it, oh, there he goes, there he goes. Got him. <laughs> Back the boat up. Here, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. He's got me in the wreck, but I think I can get him out. Watch out, us.
Let me come around this side. Here he is, right here. Look at that guy. Holy mackerel. Look at that, boys. Oh my god. Oh my god. See how he's gonna go crazy now? He just lost that air. Hold on, buddy. Oh, there goes the hook right there. Hook just came out. Now watch him. Just swam down like a champion. One thing about these Goliath groupers, they are arguably the toughest fish in the world. And I will say it live and in person, that's the biggest fish I've ever caught on a spinning rod. Now we're gonna run in, clean some fish, and eat a good dinner. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.